welcome to Ice Age TV. And we're just gonna keep on rocking today. Freezing out here. It is so cold. But I'm gonna get motivated and I'm gonna put my front mud flaps, front mud flaps here that I just got from my Ford dealer up front here. I'm gonna put these on, pretty diagon simple. It's a Ford accessory product. Turn on my high beams here and it's really simple. I'm gonna clean that area up. Take a few screws out and bing bam done. I mean, it's really simple. And you just do some pulls behind this and I'll show you how to do it. And what do the dogs think? Dogs think it's cold, daddy. What are we doing out here? We're freezing. And yesterday, last night, last night I got these same uh, mud flaps and they didn't give me the front ones, so I couldn't do it. So today, I'm gonna motivate to do the front ones. You know, it's free, popular. Alrighty, pretty simple, pretty easy, which I love this part. Front ones are so easy, and it literally is just you, these just fit right up in the uh, front here. Let's see how we're going to do this here, try to figure out which way it goes. Yeah, this is it right here. If you walk with me up front here, I'll show you. Just This just literally, you got two screws right there, same two screws. If I remember right, maybe not. Yeah, no, same two screws. And then this folds back in. They get a nice real uh, protection. I just believe having the protection on these vehicles is really nice. Because these cars today have such big tires. I mean, this is like a 20 inch factory wheel. That's just crazy. When I was growing up, that was that was like unheard of. So I have protection to help the bottom of the truck. I think just really nice. Plus I think it gives the truck a little bit more of a nice stance. All right, so watch me pull it off here. Another little project. Ford accessory. Ford, Ford Parts has it. You can probably order online. And they're not expensive at all. These things are like $37 each, I think, or something like that. So first thing we're going to do, cold, but I'm going to clean off my area right here. Wipe it down. And have the work area a little better for us. The uh, glass cleaner that's just like kind of being water frozen, and there you go. See here, Clean that up. Well, it's probably about a eight or seven millimeter socket. And I got my special tool. We'll show you that here in a second. Right over here at the bench. All right, I got my specialty tool right here. These are really nice to have. Gives you the right angle type of uh, taking things off and on. It's huge. I'm gonna turn it the other way. And see there? So it's just really seven millimeter. And that's it. Take it out like those. Don't be scared. There's one. Two. I mean, they're just so uh, easy. All right? Just unthread yourself. And bing bam. Bing bam done on that. I get my mud flap in here. And poof, it's on. <laughs> okay, Ford does give you a new set of screws. Probably a little longer. And you give you these little clips. Clips here, which I don't know if I can get my hands to take it off or not, but I'll show you that in a second. Oh, oh that nice. They gave me two. Oh, no, here it is. It was hidden in there, so I got four. All right, take these two here. Take these two here. Take my nice new splash guard up here. And you'll see. Nothing radical. And you set it up here. And then you got to bend these tabs back, which what I recommend is getting this not all the way tight. Just get it started, and I'll show you why. All right, what I do, I leave these loose because these tabs bend behind this right here. So what's going on right here is so you actually bend these behind the fender here. And if you leave this a little loose, it makes it easier for you to do that. Because once this all pulls down, it's just too tight. And get your uh, tabs here. And you just kind of kind of muscle this on here. All right, but I would tighten this down now, make sure it kind of gets flush. Just take it, 
Take your gun and... tight and I kind of look up underneath here make sure it looks pretty good and then I would take your tab now and I would be more apt to uh, try to get that on there with one hand it's not that simple so let's get two hands all right I got her it's a little tight but you'll get it so look at there now let's check her out how she looks here and there that's good so now what I do is just turn the steering wheel to the right if you're doing the left side turn the steering wheel to the left that's the trick turn the steering wheel left when you do left side turn the steering wheel, turn the steering wheel right when you do the right side so let's get my gear over there and continue on all right, we are now on the right-hand side, exact same thing. Here, just take your gun and take these off. They come out, just take a little time. Okay, go in there. Duh, get it on there, right? Take them out there and plug your other ones in. Thought I had it, but I don't. Come on there. All right, same thing. Set it right up in there. Goes right back in the holes. Use the longer screws. Don't tighten it down so you can bend these tabs back. All right, so leave this loose so you can push this back so you can get this thing around. So these tabs have to be bent in. You gotta bend these things around that fender like that. Okay? So it just makes it easier to get in between there. And then you gotta take these metal tabs and slam them on. And that's where it gets a little bit more challenging doing it one hand in here. But take it and just kinda, gotta kinda manhandle it. You see there how it kinda grabs? All right, we are good to go. Time to tighten it down. Kind of heard that right. And she's just really nice. Okay, nice and snug. Pretty good fit. I mean, it's not like perfection. Has a little gap, but not much. And once again, just nice fit. Easy peasy. You have no idea how many years on all my different type of vehicles. And it's never that simple. I mean, it's always a project. Now, the back, that's a whole other ball game. The back is simple, but it's this brack that you gotta put underneath here. And not that hard, but I'll show you that here in a second. All right. Now we're on to the back end here. Don't need those instructions. Here's the left side. Here's the right side, and once again, it's pretty simple. The uh, same concept here, where you take it, and you're going to bend the tabs in, holes line up. But this one here, you have the plug style. It isn't a screw, so you got to pull this, a special tool. I mean, you can just use pliers. But then back here, it has a bracket. That's where the fun part is. You gotta crawl underneath the truck and you gotta put this bracket on. It looks complicated, but it's not. It's simple. So I'll show you how to do it. All right, we got a lot going on here. Look at all these little parts. So, these little parts here, they're gonna go on the uh, bottom here. And then, the bigger one here, I believe, goes to the back here in the back bracket. And got some more plugs. Plug, I don't know where the plug here. 
I'm not sure on that. Let's get a little further into that. We should have two of the bugs, or do we? Interesting. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, we do. We have two. All right, so what I do is I got my special tool here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this plug right here. And I'm not going to take the tire off. Sometimes it's tell you to put the tire off. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to drill right here. So I'm going to have to get my special little drill out to do that. That's a little project. All right, this is very interesting. So this truck has a trim package on it, which these instructions don't explain that. Because here's where these clips go. See these clips right here? These clips go right in here and they're not showing there's a hole so there's a hole behind that metal right there this plastic's covering huh. you know for me four line I don't think you really need a second hole personally oh boy this is a challenge being this tires on much more challenging I had to drill out uh, plastic and I'm on my hands and knees back here now it's just way too tight and this is I knew I knew the rear is be very challenging much more challenging I mean for anybody out there to take the tire off it won't be as bad but you gotta take the tire off so this is just a lot of work which it's been my experience every time I do my trucks time I do trucks, the rears are always a pain in the butt. The front shoes you are to the back. Yeah, but you know, being on, pretty cool. I'm showing a little technology into here. Just is incredible. And where the hell is the shock? Look at that shock thing. It's just incredible. All these vehicles. Uh, it's just beyond believable. All the technology under them and blah, blah, blah. I want to do the wheel well liners. I don't know if I do that tonight or not. That's another project. Yeah, this is this is not easy back here. Have the tire on because the tools, your tools don't have the clearances. So that's the problem. All right. So what I just did, I just put these clips in. That way, this whole rear splash guard mud flap is all lined up. Now I'm going to tighten down my uh, my bolts here. Screws, whatever I call them. All right, I got the right side on, and you know I question this on this design here. That right now this is so sturdy. I mean, this is not going anywhere. But they want you to put this rear bracket in, and it's just so cold out here that uh, I'm gonna get how many other side put on the next side, but I don't know. I really, I so question that why you need that. I just don't understand why Ford thinks you need that bracket. I put them on, and I just think it's overkill personally. It's not hard to put it on. But I'm going to the next side because it's just so cold out here. We're going to run out of heat here in a second. That's my concern. All right. We are making progress. Yikes. That's a project, man. Having those tires on there, you got to be ambidextrous. You don't have left hand coordination. Forget it. So now, let's see if I get excited about the bracket. Even though I just don't know why you need it. Look, I mean, look at this here. How the heck is that thing falling off? I just don't waste the time, really. But I guess to follow the instructions, I'll do it. But let's see here. What do you do, right? Which is the uh, plug. That's interesting. Wow. So, it doesn't make any sense at all. We got one, two. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do this. So this is pretty simple actually. So the flat end here goes up here. Let's see if I can get you see there. I don't even see 
that or not, but it's not that hard. Flat piece here goes over where this plug is. Unplug that. Then we'll take and put our uh, clips in place of it. And follow me along here and I'll show you how to do it. Camera's having a hell of a time catching that for you. You gotta put that clip between the metal and the plastic here. It's just too bad to make picking that up for you set better. So the metal clip goes underneath the metal on top of the bracket so it catches it. You don't want that bolt reverse so it'll be stud down here. Now up here, we clip it this here another clip let's see, go over here and big bada bada do down down all right we got it see that and that and you know once again to me I don't really get how it really does much for this. It's still, I guess it's just a rock or something got back here. I don't know. Something big hit it. All right, to the next side. Look at the shock here. All electronic. Let's change the settings on how the shock handles the truck. Look at the uh, cabling up here for your outlets. Pretty cool. Pitch pretty measly compared to my other big trucks. They're getting there. All right, I got her. Got the bracket up in there, and uh, it looks good. I like it. So, got the whole Ford factory accessory. Mud flaps, splash cards, whatever to call them. And there you go. I hope this video helped you make a decision on whether you want to do this or have your local Ford dealer do it. Wish they wouldn't charge you that much, I wouldn't think. But you never know in today's world. But I really like them. I think it just saves the truck. It does a great job. I think it gives it a good look on the appearance. And uh, the back are not easy. You get the right tools that helps you out a lot so hey everybody thanks for watching ice age tv ford f-150 mud flap or splash guard accessory install day in my 2023 ford power boost which is a love this truck zero gray zero blue zero gray what the hell are you call it but hey once again thanks for watching and stay tuned for videos i want to do the wheel well liners i don't know if i do that tonight or not we'll see Thanks for watching.